power with gusts up to 25 miles an hour. Thursday night, mostly cloudy with a 50% chance of snow showers. Much colder with lows around 2 below. Welcome to the VHF UHF channel and um, I just uh, plugged my mobile vertical VHF UHF wideband antenna on the uh, AirSpy HF Plus Discovery. Um, you know, trying to grasp how good it is at whatever it's supposed to be doing in the VHF range. Uh, you know, what I got to say is that um, I, I, I talk about, you know, how it performs in its um, shortwave range on the other shortwave channel, of course. But also, of course, you have to cope with and check out what's happening with, you know, uh, the range and, and what's happening with the uh, different uh, VHF performance. I have to say that performance is really good on VHF. Um, I've been pretty much uh, tuning around with the mobile vertical and uh, am, am pleased with what I see. So it's, it's nice to see this. But that said... Um, it's hard to say for one thing. There's a lot of little spurious signals, and you see them here. And when I look at my um, SDR Play RSPDX, it uh, these are not there on some of these frequency ranges. Now, you know, these could be generated by the computer or something, but it is interesting to note that on the same computer with uh, 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 the same cable, or, well, a different cable, but a, a, a cable that has uh, ferrites or torrid cores at the, at the end to reduce interference still have a lot of these um, spikes showing up. So that's one thing that I did notice. It's not everywhere in the VHF range, but it is prevalent in many of the frequencies um, that I've been tuning. So um, that's that's one thing that's kind of interesting here. But on the frequencies that I listen to some of the uh, transmissions, um, I mean, it, it works great. It's very sensitive and, and does a, a great job. This is a NOAA weather broadcast. It's, it's more than 100 uh, kilometers away from where I live in Burlington, Vermont, and uh, one, one of six to 400. Then a chance of snow showers in the afternoon. There's also the one on uh, that is um, on the east side which is from uh, pressure, Beaumont, which is on the uh, eastern township side. That also is coming in well. It, it's as sensitive as the SDR play, that's for sure. So uh, I can't complain on sensitivity. Uh, it does that job really well. So um, there is going to be a few videos posted a little later today. And this will have to do with um, satellite reception. I'm trying. I'm going to try a few satellites, including one of the NOAA weather satellites, just to see how well it receives the satellites. So uh, these will be coming up later as the passes come by over Montreal tonight. So we'll be checking that out. So I uh, hope that you enjoy my look into the AirSpy HF Plus Discovery. Um, you know, it does a well, a good job at what it does on the VHF range. But once again, if you have something to buy, uh, this is, uh, you know, an, an SDR Play RSP1A will do as well. And not only that, will give you a much bigger coverage than this device actually does give you, uh, which is very limited from 60 to 260 megahertz. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching our videos. 